Within Studio 1.3, we have the capability of transposing and tuning different audio events. And you're going to want to use a bit of discretion on what you use this on because some things are going to sound good, some things are not going to sound so good. And in this video, we're going to cover three different audio samples and see what this feature does and what it sounds like and how we can make use of it. Now, the first sample that we're going to start off with is just a vocal. I just have a, it's a female vocalist just singing La. It's the most basic audio sample uh, vocal that I could find. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that into the arrange view. And in order to access this transpose feature, we want to press F4 and access our inspector. Then we can see down at the bottom here, we have transpose. Now, one important thing that you need to pay attention to when you're working with this feature is um, Studio One makes use of the same algorithm that is used when you're time stretching. So we need to look up here at the time stretch and be sure that we're choosing the correct mode depending on what we're working with. And since we're working with a vocal, we want to choose solo. And then we have sound for kind of polyphonic material and then audio bend if we're working with bend markers and the bend panel. So let's choose solo. And I'm going to transpose this just by two semitones. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but we have a range of 24 semitones plus or minus or two octaves up and down. So I'm going to raise that up to semitones and let's play that back and hear how it sounds. And then let's try minus two. And actually, I'm going to put this back at its original pitch. And I'm going to press T and create a new track. Control C to copy this event. And then I'm going to paste it here. And this one I'm going to pitch down just so we can hear how this sounds to experiment with if we were going to try to use a uh, harmony. La. Let's try minus three semitones. La. I'm going to add one more track and paste another one in here and pitch this one up by three. Let's try four. And in this one, as I was saying that it was important to pay attention that I had that on drums for the time stretch mode. And uh, this one is on drums. So let's see how this sounds now. So you can tell it's a bit different. And let's just let's just solo this. Now that's on the solo time stretch mode. If I change this, this is why it's important. If I change this to say drums and play that back, you can tell the difference in the timbre of the sound. Let's listen to this one here. Okay, so you see why it's important to pay attention to the time stretch mode here because it's really going to alter the timbre of the sound. And let's bring in another audio sample here. Let's bring in a loop. 
and let's listen to how this sounds as it is. We've got, we're not applying any transpose to this. So we've got a synth part here. Let's change this to sound. And then let's transpose that down by four semitones. See, I think that sounds pretty good, um, better than the vocal. Let's return that back to zero and add a track. I'm going to copy that. And then let's drop this down a whole octave, minus 12 semitones, and play these back. So, as I said, some things are going to sound good and then some other things you may not want to use uh, in your song. And let's go ahead and do one more example. And for this, let's try a drum sound. What I'd really like is an 808 sound, like a kick. Yeah. Let's go ahead and bring that in. Okay, so as it is. Now, our time stretch mode is on drum, so that's good. Let's go ahead and raise that up say three semitones sounds good to me and let's drop it down a bit minus five I like that and the tune we have here so if you want to do some tuning Again, we would just click and enter in a value. I'm going to put this back to zero for transpose. And for the uh, tuning, this is in cents, and we have a range of minus 100 to 100 cents in this tune field. So let me try out negative 50 here. And then let's raise it up 50. Okay, so you've got some things to play around with here and just use your own discretion. You, you, you know, you can use your ear to tell what is going to fit within your music and the sound that you're looking for. It's not going to work with everything, but now that you know where to access these tools. Um, have fun experimenting.